So that's the that's the other thing. We're like, hey, we talked with Tommy Mello, and he has this conversation with us that he's like, oh yeah, uh, this company down in Texas, each call taker books 80 a day. Mm -hmm. That has been rent free in my head for like months. So a lot of it's like, how do they do that? Because right now, like we're picking up 80 calls a day each. Yeah. We're not booking, like booking 80 is crazy. And then if you start working backwards, you're like, oh, they have an incentive program that drives books. That's awesome. I mean, so are, are you able to say like what that looks like or what you guys are thinking it's gonna look like? Uh, yeah, we dropped base comp in half and we added a $10 per booked commission. I could see a future where there's no base comp at all. Like why? Well, if, you if you're booking 30 to 40 calls, calls a, day, a day, yeah, yeah, like you don't need base comp. And like they started, it changed the attitude, I think in a good way where they, People want to. They're take fighting the for them, yeah. Yeah, and that that changes the culture. That changes everything yeah. around it, so that you want to answer calls and yeah. book them. It's been something that we've been are fighting with forever, and like, people have different perspectives on this. I've asked a a lot of people, like, hey, where do you sit on this? Because I think, and and it, it's it, you have to find the balance, mm -hmm. and we're obviously still trying to find it. But if you go too far on one way, you have a call center that never books anything. Yeah. Because you're hiring people that are customer service and customer service doesn't book appointments. Customer service talks to people. If you're recruiting customer service agents, your booking rate's going to be terrible. But you obviously have to treat your customers well and you want them to call you back and you want it to be a good experience. So it's hard to hire that hard nosed inside salesperson to book the call. But a good salesperson should know how to like if you're good at sales, it's because you know how to talk to people, not because you're yeah. pushy. So I've had a lot of conversations with people and most everyone that I know leans towards the customer service. It reminds me of VMI. The best way to manage inventory is to not have inventory. And it's like everyone gets so frustrated and annoyed that their call center won't just book the call. But it's like the the answer is you hire salespeople and you pay the com a commission to book the call. Yeah. Like that is it. It's the same as VMI is the answer for this thing. Like maybe you can build this like culture of accountability, but like the best way is do you just pay them? Like, hey, your job is this, like you get paid by this. Yeah. So go do it. And then if you don't, you won't make money. You won't make money and we'll fire you. Yeah. Like it's not complicated. Or you'll fire yourself. You'll leave because you're saying, hey, my salary is yeah. minimal. It's less, it's minimum wage because I'm not booking calls fast enough. And then you're managing that on the back end with AI in terms of making sure that they're still yeah. hitting. And, and now they want of, the feedback. Now yeah. they want to understand how to do better because their compensation is tied to it. But yeah, most people, like there's the spectrum of like, okay, we want call takers and we want salespeople to book the calls. And those are two totally different people. And obviously there's a spectrum of in between. Yeah. And what, it, like every owner that I know is just like, man, we just can't just book, you know, we just can't do it. And I'm like, well, hire salespeople. Mm -hmm.